Hello, my friends. Hi, everybody. Tuesday night, Dixie Bell night. Welcome to August, my friends. So I think the notice is out. I am on. Hi, Dixie Bell. Yes, I'm on. Hi, Dixie Bell. Thank you for having me. Hi, Nina. Hi, Emily. Hi, Georgia. Oh, a very hot England. Okay, you can send some temperature over here to Germany because it is pretty cool over here. Very unusual. Hi, Oliveira. Thank you for joining me. My friends, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I am the owner and um, creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a Dixie Bell Elite retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So welcome. Um, it is 9 p.m. over here. So when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. Please also Instagram, just say hi to me or send me a heart or something like that. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Bonsoir, Michelle. Saba. Hi, Amber. Guys, I'm so happy you're all there. So, hi, mein Hase. Auch da. Wunderbar. So, cheers, coffee. I've got to have my coffee during my life, even if it's evening. So, I'm just going to show you. I've got to be careful because I've got so much paint standing here. This is not a very stable construction I've built here. This is my, this is my chair. I've got that standing on. I've got a board on there. And then I've got this little, this little cupboard on there. I'm just going to turn it around so you can see the project we are working at. So um, this has been cleaned with white lightning. So cleaned nicely and um, nothing else, just cleaned. Um, I don't know what kind of wood it is. Uh, it is uh, not a bleeder, so I don't need any boss or something like that. And it is a little shiny, but um, I'm sure I'm pretty fine that the paint is going to stick on there. Hi, hi, Dennis. Hi, Jill. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? I love it. It, it is not that easy to find uh, lovely projects over here, but I was quite happy that I found that. So, hi Sherry, hi to Florida. There's a lot of Flor Floridians. <laughs> Floridians up here. Guys, I am German and I sometimes make up new words. So, um, that's, um, <laughs> that's the way I am. If you have any questions, guys, put them in the comments. Dixie Bell is here. They're going to answer that. Um, otherwise, I will come back later to check those out uh, for you. So, um, the colors I've got, well, I finally going to use um, one of the most beautiful transfers by Dixie Bell, which is the um, Magnolia Garden. For those who know me, I'm not a flowery girl or something like that. Maybe flower power, but not uh, exactly into flowers or something like that. But this one is very, very cute. So I didn't have a chance to use it yet because this is one of the most popular ones, uh, even over here in uh, in Germany so by the time they came in they've been gone again so which is good but even so I couldn't have I didn't have a chance to use it so I've been waiting with this uh, little piece to use it on um, so but it's going to be hi Jill it is going to be uh, as per usual rustic so um, oh ciao ciao bella Italia ciao Pierre so, oh, thank you, Oliveira. So, we are going to use um, sea spray. I'm first going to show you the, the transfer. For those, I mean, not everybody has seen it. Uh, it comes in four sheets. You can layer it. And it comes with, um, with one of those uh, tools. You can basically transfer the transfer <laughs> onto, your, onto your project. It comes with some instructions. Um, I don't know about you. I don't read instructions. I don't measure. I don't read instructions. So that's just me. But um, for those who do, uh, the instructions are there. And uh, this, um, this transfer has got four sheets. 
you can cut it apart. There's like all those beautiful single flowers and stuff like that. Um, so you can basically, you can cut it apart. You can layer those. Hi, Anne. Hi, Donna. Also Florida. So I'm happy you're all there, guys. Um, yeah, this sheet is like those cotton wool type of things on there also. Uh, you can layer those. There's like bigger flowers, there's smaller flowers, there's some leaves, so you can do loads of things with it. And then there is like this piece also. So this sheet is, for me, I'm thinking definitely going on top of that piece. It is a little broken and stuff, so that's the reason um, I've chosen to go uh, with it for an aged look. So this is going to go on top. And the top is going to be blended in afterwards a little bit uh, with French linen, I think. I'm going to see how I'm going to do that. I've got French linen, I've got Midnight Sky, um, but this is not uh, going to be today. And also not the, um, also not the um, transfer on there. So this is going to be over a couple of lives again. So I'm going to put that back into the into that tube it came in just to make sure that uh, the transfer doesn't um, adhere accidentally to something else i know myself it's like uh, i've got the the name hashtag master of disaster for no reason so um uh, that's safe now okay put that to the side and uh, I'm going to work on the base with uh, sea spray and I will add, uh, I'm using Florida orange with some sea spray and I'm going to use amethyst with some sea spray. This is just going to peek through a tiny little bit at the end just to, you know me, I'm not into neutral colors and stuff like that. There always must be like a little um, <laughs> highlander. Thank you for joining. Mm. Um, they are just going to peek through a little bit. So and on top, we're going to go then later on with uh, definitely antebellum blue, maybe palmetto. I'll see if I'm going to mix those. And I've also got rebel yellow just to highlight the things a little bit out. So let's get going. We're first going to put down the uh, sea spray. And I've got, where is it? So sea spray is, um, sea spray. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amber, that's so sweet. I hope you mean me. <laughs> so sea spray is a texture additive by Dixie Bell. Uh, and you can add it to any color. And the nice thing is, uh it doesn't change it doesn't change the uh the color itself so the color stays like it is you can also use it for raised stenciling you can use it for repairs for repairs i usually prefer the dixie mud but you can also if you only have this on hand you can also use it uh oh thank you amber you make me flush <laughs> that's sweet thanks um so you can use it for raised stenciling and stuff like that. And it is, can you see, Instagram can see, I'm probably going to drop that in a second. It comes, it comes with like this measuring cup, like this, this measuring cup. And they say that you mix two, um, two um, spoons or two measuring cups of the sea spray with uh, a small jar of um, Dixie paint. This is the eight ounce paints. So uh, this is the smallest jar, but I always say you mix it um, how you like to, oh well, how you basically, ah, oh, Linda, you love the sea spray. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jorgen. Uh, basically how much you like to, to, or how thick you like to have the consistency. Don't use a good brush to apply it because the brush is going to get ruined. 
don't um, pour it down your drain. The, the, if you have leftovers or wash out your brushes, because this may um, this may block your um, block your drains. So um, okay, we we'll start with uh, Florida Orange. You can see the chalk mineral paints by Dixieville. They are water based. They are VOC free. Uh, they come in three sizes. This um, this is the smallest size, eight ounce. This is the 16 ounce jar and this is the 32. So they last ages because they are highly pigmented and they cover up really, really well. So you don't need much. They have their, they're like a little thicker consistency. If this is too thick for your own taste for painting, you can always, um, you can always add some water to basically to thin them up. The other way around, if you put too much water in there, just let it stand that the water, um, how do you say that in English? That it dries out again, so, <laughs> so it gets thicker again. So guys, after all, sometimes I'm missing the English words. I'm sorry. So mix them up nicely um, so that all the, uh, basically the uh, secret rich ingredients um, I'm mixing up. So I'm just um, pouring some out into onto this uh, little cup because I'm going to add the sea spray on there. Hang on. Using my fingers as per usual. Who also likes to paint with fingers. So I don't know what my cat is doing in the background there. There's uh, something happening. I can hear her rumbling around so just tell me how's the weather where you are oh am i jill <laughs> your favorite colors that's good so well i mean i'm already making a mess guys oh, that's me that's me on the floor so I'm going to, I'm trying to get better because um, if you try to clean the top of your jar straight away before you uh, close them because they might, um, otherwise the, the lid might, might um, stick to it. You can bang them on the floor upside down, that will loosen them up again, but um, my neighbors don't like it. So, and... Oh, I've got the other one. Maybe on the knees. No. I just had to. I mean, this is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's so typical me. I've got everything together and always looking. Oh, is it there also, Jill? It is the same over here. I was saying summer fell on the Monday <laughs> because the weather is just. Uh, I don't know. It's not very nice. Evaporate. Thank you. Thank you, Amber. Evaporate. That's the correct word. So, <laughs> thanks for translating. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, this is one of the moods of uh, FB, isn't it? So, and um, same thing with the amethyst, bright purple. All right, purple, put it there, there we go. And I usually put the paint in first and then I come in with my, with my sea spray because I know about roughly how much paint I'm going to need. So this way around, it's a little easier for me um, to control the, the amount I'm doing. So, um, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't need to, uh, however, 30 degrees or something like that, but uh, we hardly cracked a 20 at the moment. So, um, Celsius, I'm talking about Celsius. So, um, which is not 
not very much for summertime. But even so, and a lot of rain. We have a lot of rain. So, close that up also. Amethyst. So now I'm just going to come in. I've got paint already all over me. So, and I'm just going to add the sea spray. That was probably a little much. Let's see. And I am going to mix that up. Let's see if you can see. And as I said, the thickness, it basically is up to your own taste how thick you want to have it. This was a bit much of the powder. This is going to be too thick. I'm going to add a little more of the Florida orange. This is very thick now. You don't need very much. There was, um... oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> it looks yummy. So, but this is far too thick for my taste. Um, so I'm going to add a little more paint to this one. Just a little. This is when you work with the paint and you can't really see what you're doing. So you can also add a little water, but you can see that basically the um, color itself is not changing. So just a little much. So and there's different ways basically to apply that to your project. You can use a spatula also. I'm using um, one of the basic chip brushes. So this is about, I think this is how I like it. I like to have it a little thicker to put it on there. So I'm going to do the same thing with the amethyst. And I'm not using as much paint as that one. Do the same thing and mix it up. So this dries rock hard when it dries. So this is the reason you shouldn't um, drain that down your pipes because otherwise they might get stuck. So, and the nice thing is also when you mix it up with your paint, it doesn't get lumpy. You have some products, you know, you really have to stir really, really well because they get lumpy. But this is not. So this is about the consistency I'm having with that one now. So, let's see. Put that here. I'm going to start. Where's my chip brush? There's my chip brush. Got my best thing brush here also. Put the other brushes to the side for now. So the reason I've got it on this um, on this chair is because I can turn that, which makes my life a little easier to show you and to apply things. I'm going to bring you a little closer in. So you can see now what we are doing. Hi, oh, Colorado. So, uh, Juan, Florida also. So, <laughs> I've already covered in paint, guys. So as per usual. Um, so as I said, you can you can use a spatula to apply it. I'm going to to use my chip brush. And I'm not going to apply it all over the piece, just in certain areas. So, and this is basically to give it, to make it even more aged as it is anyway. 
I don't want to have it overly aged, but uh, I want to create some. I want to create some texture. So I'm just stippling it on here, especially around the edges. There's going to be some rusty, crusty areas. So. I'm first going to do the, so I'm stippling on here now just to create a little more texture. You can see that pretty nicely, you know, in the, in the shadow, how this is basically by the brush. As I said, there's like different ways of um, doing it. This is the, the look I've chosen for tonight. As I said, I'm first going to do the this piece usually um i'm not painting the back but uh, obviously this is like a, a piece which might be standing in the middle of the room or something like that so the back is gonna get some love also so and as i said this was only cleaned with uh, white lightning I'm going to come in with the Florida orange in a minute. Who likes working with uh, sea spray? Oh, yes, yeah, thank you, Dixiebel. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, pop over to my page, Elfen and Helden. Give me a follow. Always a laugh. I do quite a few lives in English and some in German. For my German followers, not enough, but eventually next year we'll have a little more time. So I'm sure I can do a little more then also. So tonight. We're going to put down the first coat and the first coat is always for me and then now for a lot of other artists also. This is basically to check out if the colors I've chosen are really going to be the ones I want to have on there. You can add it even thicker if you want to. I don't want to have it too thick. I just want to give it a little texture. Can always add some more, but I'm going to stay with it like that for now, I think. And let's see. Okay. So. This is, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm just going to clean that with, uh, with a paper towel a little bit, that brush. I'm going to use the same brush for, um, for the Florida orange. Oh, Instagram, I'm going to put you a little more over there. I hope you can see good also. So, and the reason I'm using the Chip brush, sea spray texture additive is pretty rough um, on your brush. So, and eventually, as um, you're not supposed to clean that out in your drain, um, you're going to throw it. So, I'm using now the same brush. I'm going to come in on those areas here to apply. Some of the sea spray on there. And as I said, this is just uh, peeking through a little at the end. Oops, that was a bit much. A little at the end. Obviously, the thicker you apply, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I don't want to have it down there. There's like, it's got some cute um, 
Oops. Yeah. Down floor. Some cute ornaments down there, so I want to keep those intact. Okay. Have it a little down there. Those areas on here. Let's see that Instagram can see. So, and usually when you start or when I start my project, the first coat looks a complete mess before it turns out nicely so most of the times so most of the times so use a stippling motion to create some texture so keep that one a little clean the details so Here. Yeah. May put a little on the legs also. I see. You can hear it sounds like mud also. So um Hi, Grete. Thank you for joining. Oh, hi, Tanya. There you are. Also, Florida. <laughs> so. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. So on the drawers, I'm going to keep it like that. Down here, a little texture. A little bit of the purple. So I don't want to mix it too much because it's going to get muddy all otherwise, those two colors together. So that's, I think that's pretty much how I like to have it. You can also go in when it's starting to dry and add a little more texture. You know, when you, there's like a, a pretty, like a big drop I'm gonna come in here with my brush a little more to just add texture in there so that's pretty much the base I'm going for Legs a little crusty, just randomly <laughs> got paint all over myself. Also, can't see, but I'm covered. I'm covered in Florida orange, so <laughs> can't go under the shower like that. Also, I'm covered in sea spray. Okay. So this is going to dry now. A little bit of the orange in here. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing to the lights. Push you a little further back also going to apply it to the legs. Most of it will be covered up anyway. It's only going to peek through a little 
at the end. So this is just my my chair. I've got it standing on. I'm usually sitting on. Um, put a board on here so this little cupboard can sit on there a little. So I can twist it all around. So that's about it. I'm going to dry it a little bit. I'm going to come in with the other colors. Well, basically, I'm going to start with the other colors at the front. So, um, remember what I said, don't um, clean those out down your drain. You can clean it in a bucket and um, whatever, throw the water into your garden or something like that, but uh, don't flush it down your drain because the sea spray, it dries rock hard. So, or you throw your, your brush, the chip brush, um, the basic chip brush is, uh, <laughs> the basic chip brush is, uh, is pretty cheap. Oh, hi Vera, thank you for joining. So, yep, Dixiebel, exactly. Guys, if you want to shop the products I'm using, pop over to the Dixiebel page and check for your local retailer. As I said, I'm one in Frankfurt in Germany, but we do have very lovely retailers over here. So always give uh, your local retailer a chance. Um, that's important. So, um, okay. I'm going to paint over the hardware. This is, uh, this one is a little loose. Uh, let's see, I check, but the, the screws are not gonna go to the inside. They're not uh, drilled through. So um, I think that's quite cute. That matches that piece nicely. A lot of times I use different um, hardware, but, but with this one, this is fine. So I mainly wanna use antebellum blue. I mainly want to use antebellum blue. I'm not sure if I'm going to introduce um, palmetto. It'll be go nicely with the transfer. But oops, uh, so excuse me noise for a second. I'm just going to dry that down here a little. Hi, Kathy. So, again, there you can see the white you can see on top. This is basically just that, like, some of the ingredients have separated. So, you should um, mix those up nicely. And again, this is a new jar. This is filled up right to the top. So, um, that's what I like about those paints also. There's um, no space wasted. So antebellum blue, the lovely green blue color. Yeah. Uh, am I going to pour some? I think I'm going to put some on a, on a plate. Let's see. And here, fresh plate. Of course, not always there. 
So I usually work out of the jar, but um, as I've just, oh, I'm just putting a little on the plate just in case it picks up some of that, uh, as this is not completely dry, some of the other colors I don't want to um, contaminate that straight away. And I'm working with it. So it is. What happened? Oh no, Greta. Oh my goodness. You've been affected by the floodings. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh dear. We had um, we had very bad floodings the other the other week, which was well. I don't think uh, we ever experienced something like that over here in Germany. So a lot of people lost everything. So, Greta, I hope the insurance is gonna cover that for you. Give shout out to me. So. Um, <laughs> Hi, Jana. Mm. Just tell me more. Just uh, contact me, Greta. Even so, I'm going to open the palmetto. Um, I'm going to put a little out of it also. Maybe I use a little. Maybe I use a little. Not quite sure yet. As I said, this is only the first coat. So this is for me deciding if I'm going to, or which colors I'm, if I'm really going to add those together. But I think I will. I think I will use the um, palmetto also. That goes beautifully with the, um, goes beautifully with the, you can see that on the plate. This is, this is Palmetto and this is Antebellum Blue. They go very nice together. And Rebel Yellow, just to highlight that up. Mad, 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 I know. But, um, so. I think I'm going more through baby wipes than any mother with their child. <laughs> so rebel yellow is like, um, it's almost like a buttercreamy, buttercreamy color. I'm not using it that often. So this is a really little thicker. As I said, if uh, the paint thickens a little bit, you just add a little bit of water and so you're good to go. Fine. Put it on the plate also. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Let's back to the jar. There we go. Rebel yellow. Very bright. For the camera, too bright. Oh, Greta. I cannot help you with the furniture. I can help you with the paint, but. Um, Just let me know if there's anything I can do. Okay. Um, I'm going to start here. And I'm not, I'm, what I have it irregular is, it's not going to be like uh, from here to there. I've got my mini brushes and I also got my best bang brush, which is going to come into use. And as I said, this is basically just to lay down the colors for now. The main color I want to have is um, antebellum. I'm just going to add on here for now. I like to work with thin coats. So. Firstly, they dry quicker and uh, 
that I'm painting over the So one of the great benefits of the chalk mineral paints is that they are self-leveling. Uh, you don't need to prep your pieces apart from, um, apart from, I'm using the same brush. Uh, this is the mini brush, by the way. Um, trust me, it is the mini brush. <laughs> it doesn't say on there anymore, but uh, hi, Mary Lou. This, uh, hi to Boston. Uh, this is this is one of my first brushes, as you can see. If you look after them, they are expensive, but they are the best brushes you can get. So I'm just adding or introducing the. This is the same brush. The palmetto in there. So. Just a little first coat, guys. Nothing is settled here. Nothing is definite. Nothing is definite. So let's see. A little rebel yellow. I'm using a different brush for the rebel yellow. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to come in with my best thing brush. And I forgot my Mr. Bubble. Yeah. Oh. I was forgetting something. I was with you. <laughs> so, this is the best thing brush by Dixie Bell. Very thick, probably too thick for this area, but even so, I'm going to. I'm going to. Mm. So, I'm going to blend a little bit that one, and this one I'm going to um, get a little wet, a little damp, because it makes it easier. So, and I'm just going to go in a dabbing motion to get that all together. Again, guys, this is the first coat. Nothing is final here. I'm basically just checking out if I like the colors together and uh, which way I'm going to go. But I think this will look quite nice. Um, this is going to go also over the sea spray I've put on there, but uh, obviously this got to dry. So um, before this hasn't dried, I'm not going to do anything um, to it. And the same thing basically here. I'm going to come in with just in the areas where I haven't put the paint or the sea spray on yet. The second coat, everything will be covered. This is the first, the first layering I'm doing. It looks completely mad. Probably thinking, what the heck is she doing? So this is palmetto now. Is this palmetto? Oh, this is yes. So on Palmetto and Antebellum Blue, they blend very nicely into each other. So this is basically just like a little shading. So a little rebel yellow, rebel yellow. And if you have, if you're um, brush, has taken up too much of the paint for your taste. Just clean it up a little. Keep the best end brush. Keep it um, pretty, pretty wet. Usually, um, when I do the blending with the uh, oval medium, something like that, I like to have that brush um, dry. But with this one, 
So I'm not going in a dabbing motion just to add that, I introduce that a little more to the, to the other colors. And again, nothing final, first coat. Just want to have it a little, a little more, a little lighter. It's almost like a little cloud going on. I want to have it irregular all over the, all over the place. For the antebellum blue and the um, palmetto, I'm using the same brush. If I create texture with the those paints, usually you paint with the wood grain. But as I am creating texture, I'm going all over the place. The sea spray is not dry yet, so that's the reason I am not painting over it yet. So, Rebel um, Palmetto. You will hardly see the difference later, but this is basically just like shading those colors into each other. It's difficult to see also in this light, but um, so Rebel Yellow. Again, Little bit in there, get my best name brush. Oh, just played it a little. So with the best end brush, you can get like a little bit of a cloudy, cloudy look at the end. But this is, I think, what I quite like. I hope you like it too, guys. Go to this side and then we basically have the first coat down. And uh, next week, we're going to have some more fun. Antebellum blue. can see the amethyst is moving into the, but uh, that's okay. So get some of the palmetto from the other side. It's a little greener. So get the rebel yellow in the middle. That's where I want to have it, or across. And kind of use my best name brush, and then we have the first coat basically finished. I'm going in a stippling motion just to add this into the other colors. And that goes beautifully with that brush. Gives it like this little cloudy cloudy look so my friends <laughs> finish <laughs> so i'm looking forward to work uh, continuing this piece next week it looks wild at the moment like most of my pieces do when i start it but um it'll turn out it'll turn out okay at the end so i'm sweating now oh thank you greta so, my friends, time flies when you're having fun as per usual. So, oh, I'm sweating now. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, Dixie Will, thank you so much for having me. Guys, um, if I missed any questions, let me just see. Um, mm, 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 mm. Oh, hallo, Nicole. Hab dich ja gar nicht gesehen. Schön, dass du da bist. <laughs> so, oh, any questions? Oh, Jenna, you've been late. You can watch the replay. Thank you for joining me anyway. 
So guys, if I missed any questions, I will check, uh, check for them. And um, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I am the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm an elite retailer over here in Frankfurt in Germany. So um, I'm happy that you joined me tonight. If you want to shop the products, pop over to the Dixie Bell page and check for your local retailer. Dixie Bell is global. They are all over the world. So please support your local retailer. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, Dixie Bell, thank you for having me. I will see you. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on tomorrow, but I'm definitely on, on Thursday. 8 p.m. in German and 9 p.m. in English. So, guys, you take care. You have a lovely day, afternoon, evening, wherever you're watching from. It is almost 10 p.m. over here, so I will get ready for bed. And next week, we will continue this crazy piece, and I can guarantee you it's going to look quite cute at the end. Guys, you take care. Thank you for, for being with me. Bye, guys.